Good afternoon everyone. Today we are in the shop working on a Skag. Skag's got a, little, a couple issues, or one issue actually. I bought a larger pulley for the belt system and it's a drive pulley. It's a bigger belt or a bigger pulley for the belt. Uh, I'm trying to get that thing to spin faster and work a little better. <clears throat> and also I got a trailer hitch for the Skag also because it is fall is coming up fast. And about five or six weeks, we'll be starting to pick up the leaves. And uh, everything's got to be ready to go for when that happens. And uh, I'll be going over what we're going to do and uh, why we're doing it. Yeah, about three weeks ago, my uh, gravely broke. And I had to put the bagger and everything back on the skag. Well... What happened, or what I didn't realize, is all summer long, this is the original pulley, the pulley was loose on the shaft because a uh, set screw opened, or uh, fell out, and what it do? it was rocking back and forth and just wore this out. As you can see, it was wearing on there. <clears throat> well, this did not make any noise when it was spinning, but as soon as I put the belt on there, it made a heck of a racket, just a rattling. So what I did is, uh, I needed it right away, so I went to the tractor supply and got a pulley, and it was not the right size, but it works well. You know, this is a, a four and a half inch pulley. And this is a four inch pulley. So I'm going to go from the original. Actually, no, this is, uh, yeah, this is a four and a half inch pulley. So I'm going to a five and a half inch. So we're going to see how this works. Um... The belt should be long enough. If it's not long enough, I'll have to buy a new belt. But uh, this should get that blower spinning faster and make it work better. I'm hoping, or more efficient. So, set screws are loctited on here. So, let's get this apart and fight with this a little bit. Because i got to believe we're going to fight. I guess we should start this up so you can hear what it sounds like for now. Just uh, should be a higher pitched noise to it, so let's get this apart and let's open up the door. <clears throat> Skag. This comes off super fast. Front part's going to be getting this set screw out because I did use Loctite on it to get it in there. So um, this is going to be fun. It's either going to come out or I'm going to have to put heat to it. Yep, I'm going to have to put heat to it. Amazing what a little bit of heat does. Oops, sorry about the ball. I thought I'd let this cool down a little bit, see if it would uh, loosen itself up so I could just pull it off. 
Yeah, I pulled it. Ooh, that's still warm. Let's put the new one on. The first, this one here only had one set screw in it. This bigger one's got two set screws in it. So I will be putting Loctite on it. It'll be red Loctite. But, uh, because I don't want this coming off or coming loose at all. So that's, I think that's on there. Yep, on it pretty good. I should have taken these out before I put this in there, but that's okay. So I am using 271 or Loctite. This stuff is cheap, so it doesn't matter how much you put on there. Oops, sorry about the bump. Now the red Loctite you're supposed to let set up for 24 hours before you're using it, but um, these set screws aren't going anywhere, and neither is this pulley because it's on there pretty tight. So uh, let's put the trailer hitch on there, and then we'll put this all back together. Okay, now this trailer hitch it bolts up right there. Three eighths carriage bolt, nuts on the inside, which I'm lucky that it is cool. It's not going to burn me, but it's a pain in the butt to get to, but it's not too bad. You can't really reach nothing. Probably would have been easier if I would have taken the bagger off, but I wasn't going to take that heavy bagger off just to put this on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have to loosen the other bolts up or not. Oh, that will come right out. So, this is a 3 8 carriage bolt and it's short, grade 8. I don't have a 3 8 grade 8 carriage bolt. So I'm going to have to use a 3 8 grade 5 carriage bolt. And it'll work for now until I get a chance to get to the store and get a new bolt. But it's not that big of a deal. And this will work. Amazing, just that one little bolt holds all that on there. That's what it does. So. There we go, I have a hitch on there. I should have put one on a long time ago because I'm constantly getting stuck and that's just an easy place to hook onto it to pull everything out. Okay, next thing I have to do before I hook the bagger up, and since because the bagger area is smaller, it's all like this, I have to change this baffle, which is not big of a deal. I already cleaned out the mess behind it. You just got to take two bolts off. that off. There's always some stuck in this quarter.
come on already. Gotta move it around a little bit and play around with it a little bit, but remembering it from time to time, what you gotta do is the hardest part. Put bend up a few times and hit the curve a few times. A little bit of a gap there, but that'll take you up when they get into wet grass. Well, let's see how this works out. This should go pretty easy, but we'll see here. Yeah, one thing you got on this skeg, I remember. Make sure the belt's on this bottom pulley here, because I've tried to put it on a couple times. You get the belt smashed in here, and it just don't want to go down. That's the easy part. So let's see if I can stretch this. Yep, it works. It'll be fine. Absolutely fine. This thing just hooks up so easy. Well, let's start this thing up and see what it does. considerably noticeable difference in sound. That sounds way, way different. You see that? Okay, originally, this was the size of pulley on here, which is, is a four and a half. This is a five and a half, which is out here, so this one's sitting down in there. And I had a, a four on there because that's all I could get at the time, so I have extra pulleys uh, to get me through in a bind. So that's why I don't throw none of this stuff away. So let's go try this out. And what it was doing before, it was leaving a trail of clippings along the, uh, the bagger side. So the grass is a little bit long in my yard. So let's see if it leaves any trails or not.
Oh, is that Vicky? It sounds different. It sounds way different. It's got a higher pitch to it. So let's see how we did in the tall grass. Because this is where it usually leaves a trail of clippings. There's a few there, but nowhere as near like it was. Absolutely none. So that did a really good job on that. So that made a huge, huge difference on uh, this mower. And uh, it went from a four and a half inch pulley to a five and a half inch pulley. And you wouldn't think that much of a difference or just that little bit of a difference between the size of pulleys to make that much difference. But it's a way higher pitch, not way higher, but considerable higher pitch on the blower itself. It sounds a lot like the Protero now, which I think it's spinning probably about the same as the Protero now. So hopefully, this tube right here won't get plugged up as easy because um, that was the biggest problem with this whole bagging system. works great in the shorter grass, but as soon as you get in a tall grass or the wet grass, this hose would plug up really fast. You make one pass and you'd be dumping the hose out. So maybe that'll cure that. I don't know. There's one yard I want to try this mower on where I have to cut it at three inches and the yard is always wet. So I'm going to try that out here in a few days because I believe I can cut it this week. And uh, that'll be my test to see how this bagging system really works. And we'll see how that works in our program or program? Yeah, in our system or whatever. I, don't know. I lost my train of thought there, but you understand what I was trying to say. So um, my suggestion to anybody, or if, if you want to, is uh, spend $45 and get a better belt. And uh, I went through Applied Industries. Uh, let me grab that book. Okay, it's uh, yeah, Applied Industrial Technologies, and their website is uh, applied.com. See that? But uh, this is their catalog, and it's got pulleys and uh, geez, there's you name it, it's in here. Uh, it's got pulleys and gears and shafts and pumps and. You know, anything uh, related to pulleys or something like that. It's got Loctite in there. It's got floor dry in there, hand cleaner, and it's got everything in there. And the prices are real de reasonable. And the reason why I mention that is because everybody likes to save money, including myself, and uh, you just check them out. You know, I don't get no reimbursement or something like that or uh, kickback from them, so it's just to save you guys money. So if you'd like to go check them out, check them out. I'll leave a link down in the description box below the two just so you can click on their link and just go browse through there and see what they've got. So that is going to be it for me for today. And this project turned out way better than I thought it was going to. Uh, I think that's going to work out really well in the future. And uh, oh, I almost forgot the trailer hitch. The reason why I put the trailer hitch on the back on this mower is as soon as the leaves start falling, this bagging system is going to come off of here and this mower is going to be pulling the um, DR leaf vac. And uh, Gravely will be bagging up, in fact will be running the Gravely in the smaller yards, or I might be running them too, but uh, the Gravely will be used in the smaller yards to pick up the smaller amounts of leaves and, and the this, this skag and the um, DR is going to be picking up the major amounts of stuff, so it's going to be a Hopefully a better season this year than it's ever been. We're not taking on any new customers. What we have is what we have. And at the end of our season, if we have everything all done, we will possibly pick up some other ones. Or we might just say that's enough and we're done for the season. But We'll see how that works when we get to that area. So that's going to be it for this video for today. So uh, if you could uh, leave a comment in the comment section below, like, subscribe, click the notification bell to be notified when the next video is released. Thank you for watching. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you on the next project.